I'm Justina. And I'm Jason. And we've been together for five years. There's just one problem that always interferes when we try and make big life decisions. Jason, it's mommy! Hey! Jason is definitely a mama's boy. When I first met him, he was trying to warn me, like, hey, you know, my mom's in my life. Hey, so my mom is in my life. All right, why is that unusual? I'm just, I'm warning you that she might randomly pop in and start dancing while I play the guitar. I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. As time went on, I realized, yeah, you are attached to your mom's hip. Right here, you can see how the realization of what's happening sinks in. Am I really ready for a lifetime of this shit? Jesus, lady, you gotta change the lyrics after a while. Love you, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. That was good! Hey, good. Aww. Ready for another verse? I love you, I love you, I love you. For those who don't know, this is TLC's new show, I Love a Mama's Boy, and it's pretty self explanatory. Some of it's pretty funny, and some of it's just creepy as hell. What are you doing here? We're all gonna have Valentine's Day together. Of course, you're invited. You're number one, as always. Of course. I am number one. So this guy's about to go on a date with his girlfriend for Valentine's Day, but for some reason he wants his mother to tag along. But the mother absolutely hates the girlfriend and acts like it's an inconvenience that she's there on, on their date for Valentine's Day. I don't know why his mom is even in the picture of that one special day. My mom likes Abby always in a picture. Good job, Emily. She's doing it to impress you. I don't care. Just me and her for dinner tonight. I mean, it won't be long. You choose her over me. You make me cry. Hello, so just because he wants to go out to dinner with his girlfriend alone, she's equating that with him choosing her over his mother. Wait, wait, is she trying to like bang him or something? This shit just gets weirder too. I'm gonna have dinner tonight, mom. Me and her all alone. And after, after we're done, we'll go back home. No, I don't want to hear it again. You know, for once, I just want to just go along with her. He just said for once. I hope he's exaggerating, unless that means that his mother has gone on literally every single date with them. What if him and his girlfriend have never even been alone together, and whenever they're getting intimate, she looks over and sees this? I am number one. You know, for once, I just want to just go along with her. Still no. Uh, Ooh. I enjoy every moment that I spend with my son, Shakeb. I want him so badly to be with me, to have a good time. That does, what does that sound like to you? I don't want Emily to be with me because I don't like her. Be with me. Mom, think about it. We've been together for two years, Ollie. Think about it, two years, Ollie. She's my girlfriend. I mean, I love her. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm being honest. Wow, dude, you just fucked up big time cheating on your mother like that. So they end up going on the date without the mother, which is a pretty big step in their relationship, but it actually ends worse than it would have ended if the mother had gone. I want you to just find your own independence. All right, right. Do you understand where I'm coming from? No, I know, I know what you're saying. I know exactly where you're coming from. Before I even move out, I want Emily and my mom to be in a good terms. It's pretty clear that this is never going to happen, and it only becomes more clear the more the show continues. You need to make a decision. And it's not a decision based around your mom. It's a decision based around us as a couple. Right? Just keep listening. Shit, who do you think this is? Who could this possibly be? For this. When Shaki picks up his phone, I already know it's his mother. He doesn't have to tell me. Shit, again? What happened to your leg? Just, just stay there. I'll, I'll come, I'll come, I'll come. Hold on, tell me what's going on. She just hit her. She hurt her leg, that's it. Is she going to the hospital? Are you kidding me? She's not going to the hospital. He's gonna go home and she's gonna be sitting around crying about how he left her alone. Whilst simultaneously leaving his girlfriend alone on Valentine's Day, presumably to just pay for the meal, I guess. Babe, happy Valentine's Day and all that shit, but my mom needs me. So you, you take care of the bill and I'll see you whenever. She does this all the time. She calls Shaki, pretending and panicking like she's in extreme pain. I feel like he's always He's gonna run after his mom if she calls him for anything. So it's either the mother goes with him on the date or she calls and ruins the date. Either way, it's just there's no winning with this woman. It's it's hard to believe this is even real. I'm starting to think things aren't gonna change. And if not, I don't know if I can keep trying with this relationship. 
What a wonderful Valentine's Day date. Your boyfriend leaves halfway through to go hook up with his mother. Yeah, it's okay. What happened? My knee's hurting me. Your knee? I'm in pain, yeah. My oh, knee right here. Your knee. You're so late. I called him so no, had... many times, but you said you're on the way, but... No, I had a dinner with Emily. I ditched the dinner. A little early, I understood. But yeah, I mean, I'm, I'm glad you're not. I thought you like fell down Did the Did you stairs. miss me? Huh? Did you miss me? Did I miss you for the 45 minutes that I was gone on a date with my girlfriend? Yes, deeply. For someone with a hurt knee, my mom looked pretty comfortable. I feel like she's trying to take away time from the woman I love. Well, I think you figured that out a little bit too late. Yes, it's very sore. Are you really, you really scared me? I was in pain and I want you to be with me. Yeah, here, here I am. Just... Yeah. She is always there for me, always. I do not share she keep, especially with Emily. He needs to be with me. You know what, she keep? When you're with me, I feel like the whole world is mine. Don't take this happiness away from me, please. Please I keep it this way. To, I think we need a little change. It's my mom's birthday and it's pretty much the greatest day of the year because I'm celebrating the woman I love so much. Big bite. Thanks, first. You want to get a sample first? Well, we knew that was coming. As soon as he said birthday, I knew they were going to start feeding each other. I was just waiting for that. Oh no, look who's here. This is not going to be good. The mother is pretty much in heaven right now. Walking into Lila's birthday party, I am so nervous and scared because Lila has no idea that I'm coming and Shakib is the one that invited me. Oh, this is going to be such a nice surprise. I'm sure she'll love it. Yeah. Can't be done. I think I know who that is. Oh, hey. hello! You made it so cold. Okay, he did a good job. Hey, look who's here! Whoa. I don't think I've ever seen a more disgusted look given to someone else. She probably would have been happier if someone had just broken in to rob them. Happy birthday! I got you a gift. Something small. <laughs> she grabbed the gift from her like it was a piece of trash or something. And she refuses to even look her in the eye. This whole thing is so bizarre. She's there to give you a present on your birthday and you can't even pretend to be happy. You're not gonna open it? I'm not now. I don't expect anything from her. I was enjoying my birthday with the friends. It was beautiful, it was nice. All of the sudden, she showed up. Yeah, I cannot see this situation ending well at all. This is by far the most problematic one on the entire show. Some of the other ones are, are kind of weird and goofy, but this is just over the top. This shit doesn't seem so bad anymore, does it? I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you, I love you. 